Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Chris Winter and today I'm here in Stockholm, Sweden and I thought I would share with you what's become my favourite day-to-day camera, the Panasonic GM1. Now this is the world's smallest interchangeable lens camera and it produces stunning quality images. I'm just so happy with this camera, uh, especially paired up with a few different lenses. It's just turned out to be such a good little camera. Now what I'll do is do a little bit of a review for you guys. I'll share some images and we'll just see how good this little pocket rocket turns out. So let's quickly talk about the build quality of this Lumix GM1. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is just how small it is. It is absolutely tiny, but it's something that I love because it makes you wanna take this camera out everywhere you go, put it in your bag, put it in your jacket pocket, and just you know go out and take photos, which is pretty much what we all wanna do. Now that's not to say that it doesn't feel really, really strong. It does feel like this is gonna uh, last quite a long time. Maybe not to the standard of a DSLR, but it does feel like if you give it a little bit of care, this is gonna be a camera that could last you quite a while. But anyway, I'll just show you quickly. I've got a relatively small jacket on right here. And as you can see, it easily fits into my front pocket. But the cool thing is that on the other side, I have another lens, a beautiful lens, the Panasonic 20 mm f1.7. That easily fits into this pocket. And on the other side, I've got a zoom lens and I've got my GM1 pretty much like this and you can't even see it. So the GM1's build quality and size is definitely a very big plus for me. So the GM1 comes stock standard with the 12 to 32 millimeter kit lens. I've got to say I really like this lens, especially if you're going to be starting out with the GM1. Now the lens itself has that really cool retro styling and it fits absolutely perfectly to the GM1 body itself. Now the lens does take some pretty nice photos. You're gonna get some really sharp photos. I took it out on uh, Christmas morning with my girlfriend and her family and we got some really nice photos as you can see, uh, some really nice colors, but the best thing about this camera is that you can actually change the lens and get some even better photos, which we'll talk about now. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up because it's really cold out here. But anyway, let's get on to the next part of the review. So like I said before, one of the best features of this Lumix GM1 is the fact that you can actually put some really nice lenses on here. Now this is a micro four thirds system, so it means that there are heaps of lenses which you can find uh, from different primes to different zooms. Now right now I've got the Lumix 20mm f1.7 on. Now this is a very popular lens, especially in the micro four thirds community because it produces lovely images and you can get that bokeh that you like and, and that you're used to. Uh, with a DSLR. So what I'll do right now is take a quick photo of my Canon 70D which is filming me and as you can see you can get some lovely lovely photos with that background blur that you're used to with a DSLR. This has become my favorite uh, little setup and I'm going to be doing a review on the Lumix 20mm 1.7 in the future so if you'd like to see that leave a thumbs up. So there are a few different things that I would quickly like to talk about about this camera that I really like. First off is the electronic shutter. The reason why I like this is that you can shoot in silent mode. Now, what I'll do is show you just how you can do this. Essentially, this uses the electronic shutter and allows you to have a completely silent uh, shooting experience. So as you can see, this is on now and there's absolutely no noise which is really nice, especially if you're at a wedding or, some, or somewhere where you don't really want people to know that you're taking a photo. The electronic shutter and the silent mode works really, really well. The other thing that I want to talk about is Wi-Fi. Now, you might be a little bit skeptical about this, but uh, for me, it's just worked so well on this camera. Now, I've had the Canon 70D before and the Wi-Fi on there was very, very sketchy. Didn't really work that well and it was a little bit difficult to set up. On this camera, it just works fantastically. All you need to do is press the button on top of the camera uh, and then open your Wi-Fi settings on your phone, go to the Wi-Fi that the GM1 has, and then you can pretty much transfer like that. So if you are a little bit skeptical about Wi-Fi, this has definitely been a very good experience on the GM1. So there you go, guys. That was my quick review on the Lumix GM1. Uh, if you got this far, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a thumbs up uh, because I'm absolutely freezing out here and I'd really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.